Dear brothers and sisters, some time back I happened to read a story. It may not have really taken place this story. This is just a story, but I loved this story. The story goes like this during the time of Jesus when Jesus was in Palestine. When Jesus used to move around and preach the gospel, there was a boy, an orphan boy. He had nobody. He was brought up somehow and uh, he was eating from different houses and somehow he was brought up but he was an orphan. He was alone. He used to go through the streets, look at everyone waiting for a smile. He goes and stands next to everyone waiting for a hug. But he had nobody. The moment people saw them, saw him, they chased him out. Because he is an orphan, he looks like a beggar, his whole body is dirty, nobody took care of him, no one gave him bath. His beautiful bo body was so dirty and therefore no one cared for him. He was always rejected. And one day as he was walking through the streets of Palestine, he saw a huge crowd coming and everyone is shouting, screaming. And in the midst of this crowd, he could see somebody, a beautiful face, a glorious face, a compassionate heart, a loving grace. grace. This boy could not control himself. He ran and somehow managed to come inside the crowd and stood in front of this beautiful man. It was Jesus. And he looked at the face of Jesus. Jesus also looked at him. And Jesus smiled. His whole body was shivering when he saw the smile. Because it was like an electrifying experience for this boy. For the first time somebody looked at him and smiled. And he wanted to ask some questions. But meanwhile Jesus was just walked away. Walking away and the people, everyone followed him. He was standing alone there looking back. Looking at that crowd. And in the crowd... Jesus, a tall man who was walking with his loving gesture. He ran again. He tried to touch the body of Jesus, but he could not reach out to the clothes of Jesus. And then he waited and waited. The days passed by, many days passed, and he was waiting to see Jesus. He wanted to ask one question to him. One day, when he was again waiting for Jesus, he was walking through the streets of Palestine. Suddenly he saw again a crowd coming. Everyone is screaming and people are running towards that crowd. And he knew it was Jesus. This boy, this small boy with his, with his small legs, he ran to that crowd. And somehow managed to go inside the crowd and stood in front of Jesus. Again he looked up Jesus. But Jesus was busy looking at others. Then he pulled his, he touched his cloth and pulled him and made him aware that he's standing there down in front of him. Then Jesus looked at him and then this small boy asked Jesus, Jesus, do you really love me? Jesus, do you really love me? This was the question he wanted to ask because he never experienced love from anyone. For the first time he saw somebody looking at him and smile that it was Jesus. So he wanted to know more about Jesus. The only doubt he had, the only thing that he wanted to know is whether Jesus loves him very much. He asked Jesus, Jesus, do you really love me? Do you love me? How much you love me? How strong your love for me? How deep your love for me? This is what this boy asked him. Jesus looked at him and smiled again and walked away. Jesus did not say any sentence, anything. He was just silent in front of him. And this boy was so sad that Jesus did not respond to him. Jesus did not say anything, but only smiled. And then days passed by. One day, as he was walking through the Jerusalem, and then he heard a noise. Huge crowd and so many soldiers are coming. And he could not go closer to that crowd because the crowd was so huge. It was Passover day. Therefore, so many people, thousands of people were flocked there 
and therefore he could not even come closer to that crowd and but he heard the noise screaming yelling of the soldiers and people shouting screaming and he was wondering what is happening and he tried to go closer and he pushed the people and tried to move the people and tried to go inside but he could not as he was going on trying trying his best this crowd passed by in front of him they were going upward and this boy was asking he asked some people who were standing there and said what is that what is that noise why these people are screaming and then one passer by told this boy it is jesus of nazareth he is being taken to mount calvary he is going to be crucified he is a criminal everyone hates him therefore the people are following him shouting cursing him and he is carrying the cross to mount calvary soon he will be crucified on mount calvary when this boy heard this he could not believe this he was so shocked his heart was broken he could not wait he ran towards the mount calvary he knew the where the crowd has gone and he followed that crowd and he climbed that mountain and he reached there by the time he reached the mountain jesus was already been crucified and jesus was hanging on the cross there were some women standing including mother of jesus and there was nobody else left except some soldiers this boy came in front of jesus jesus was bleeding his hands were stretched out towards both sides and he was hanging on the cross like these the both hands were stretched out and then this boy with tears in his eyes looked at the face of jesus jesus tears in his eyes looked at this boy and said and jesus said my child i love you so much he expressed his love by stretching out his love hands both hands were nailed to the cross and these hands that did not come back and these both hands were stretched out and he said i love you so much my child and this is the story today the lord is telling you and me i love you so much with his bleeding hands bleeding face and tearful eyes smiling lips he is telling us i love you so much Thank you.